a hell of a day. So, my day starts off great. I start my morning off right. Things are good. Have breakfast with the girlfriend. Everything's good. I go, I vote. You should have too. I hope you did. I'm on my way. I'm driving. My car's making a noise. It's been making this noise for a while now, okay? Some kind of screeching, freaking like metal, rubbing against metal noise. I know this. I know I need to get it fixed. I don't have the time, okay? I, I had a specific location, which I'll get to in a moment. I'm picking up my boy because we work at the same place. And when I get there, my car doesn't reverse anymore just like it's just break like it's like nah nigga stop i tell him yo you're gonna have to get your own way to work i'm gonna have to deal with this right now so i decide to drive this car which can go forward easily smoothly drive it to dealership that i want to get it fixed that focuses on my vehicle on this honda insight i go to fucking mcgrath city you know, they took care of my freaking um, recall. Uh, fucking shit. What you, you know? <laughs> the recall, the, the airbag recall. They took care of that. You know, thinking, all right, I'll go there. I'll get these really good guys who focus on my guard, my car. And my, well, they're not focusing on my guard and shit. They, we'll get back to that. Because they, took, they got my guard down. Go over there hoping that they'll take care of this situation, you know. And I'm expecting to pay some money. Get there. Tell them, yeah, man, this is an emergency. This shit will not reverse. It's smoking. It's making the noise like crazy. I need to get a look. Dude's cool. Not, not, nothing against the dude who takes care of me. Who The supervisor or whatever takes care of me. Advisor, there you go. His advisor takes care of me. Says he's going to get it looked at. I'll be in the waiting room. While in the waiting room, my girl comes over, joins me over there. You know, she meets me there, joins me. We're both there waiting. She's keeping me company. Then finally, like almost two hours and some change or something, we go over there. They got the tire out. They look through it. He's telling me, okay, man, this is what's wrong with here. You're going to have to need a new caliber and your freaking rotators messed up and the freaking brake pads are worn out. And while you were at it, over here in the back, you're going to need new fucking brake shoes or whatever the fuck it is. And then over here, you know, matter of fact, there's some things right here with the fuel shit. So you're just piling up on everything. I'm like, all right, man, whatever. You go. He's going through the papers and then he goes to the estimate. Damn estimate was almost 5k. And that's removing the stuff that doesn't matter. It was still almost fucking 4k. Here's a little loan thing on the side, you know. You, you, this will help you pay for your shit. Just do it off your phone real quick. Yeah. Dude, I just wanted this. I was expecting at least like maybe five or six hundred dollars for this whole shit. But you coming at me with almost 4K? <laughs> what? Do I look like I got the money to just hand you like 4K to fix my damn car? We're freaking out. We're coming with solutions. What if we bring our own parts for you, huh? Well, how much would the labor be? <sighs> Dude, the labor itself was over 200 and four hundred dollars each so we going out we're looking for parts and when we look for this part at this local auto shop they tell us whoa that's way too much look i know this guy down the block this auto shop they take care of it cheap get your fucking car out of there so we're going over there and we're like yo you know what fuck this place giving my car back that my car is like just up wheels are all gone and shit like that it's like oh 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 i uh he acted like we, i just broke up with him like oh okay um guess i will get your car back and then it takes another fucking hour and a half i think until they finally get the fucking tires on there because we're like what's going on then this other representative was there like uh what you want me to do you know it's gonna be a little more trouble to put it back on there i got these other guys who just walked out my other mechanics are gone for the night why the fuck you sending your other mechanics home early nigga there was like a whole line of fucking cars of people waiting to get the fucking service and you send like your majority of your fucking best mechanics home Nigga, I don't know about cars, but I know about logic. So finally they get that car and then we skedaddle. And they'll find some other shop. And this thing, like, 
McGrath City is like all the way out there. So I want to bring that shit closer to home. So that way I could just walk to the motherfucker if I need to get it. So we find out about some shop who's still open until a decent, you know, still open at a time we could drop it off. We go there, we drop it off, and there's just this old, I'm a guess Puerto Rican guy who has a little, who has a little stump to his, his walk. He's lost because he has no idea that we called. So the guy who we talked to apparently left. But he's lost and I tell him the situation, he's like, oh, okay. And then when I tell him, like, yeah, man, they told it was this and that. And then he's like, whoa, don't worry about it. Let me look at it. I was like, all right, we'll get the parts. He's like, no, first let me look at it. Let me tell you what kind of parts we get so that way you don't have to get any parts that you don't need because I'm pretty sure those motherfuckers over there told me shit that was like, sure, probably would have made my car a little bit better, but they were just trying to get money out of me. You know, I know the deal. Cause we were there sitting down, we were chilling in the waiting room. We see all these fancy ass people. And there was this one white, tall white kid, boy and shit. He was like, and it's all blue with like freaking a uh, button up shirt. Looked kind of like Hawaiian and stuff. And he's like, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for, thank you for trusting my, my family's company. You know, this is, I'm the son of the whatever. So it's like, oh, this little fucking young McGrath. This kid's got money. This kid's dicking everybody around. Now my car is at some dealership nearby and I'm fucking without a car. I just missed out a whole day of work for the situation. Mass stress, just, just, just going through emotions and stuff like that. But I have to thank the universe for my lovely girlfriend who was by my side the entire time and took fucking charge. Like the things I saw this girl do. Tell you, man, that's a keeper. Dude, they kind of they were gonna charge me 4k. Man, if I, man, if, what, nigga, what, 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 what? So now I'm just worn out. I'm worn out like crazy. I am tired. I don't even want to. I, just, I don't want to do anything until I sell this car, but I have to continue doing what I gotta do. I have to continue to work. I have to continue to do what I gotta do in order to do what I gotta do. That shit, you gotta continue to do what you gotta do in order to do what you gotta do. Endorse me. 